Uh, I'm ready. I've got everything all set up. Uh, let's start tonight's stream. Hope everyone is doing well. Um, let's just, uh, get on with it. <laughs> uh, yeah, this is, uh, <laughs> this is exactly what it looks like. What do you guys, uh, how do you guys like my new, my new outfit? <laughs> Uh, I'm officially a uh, intergalactic bounty hunter. Uh, I I really like this. I really like how this was done. Um, so originally, when I commissioned my 3D model, I wanted some alternate outfits. I have my default one, which is me and my Hassar armor. Then I was using my T-shirt one earlier this week, uh, which is still unfinished. That one is still being updated. But uh, this is another one that I came up with. Um, Honestly, it's weird that I'd want something this specific, because it's like, I'm not going to be able to use this for every stream. Um, but I mean, I like it enough where I might just try to try to use it every now and then. I wanted a Metroid Zero Suit uh, outfit. Um, and I, it was properly delivered, and I kind of like it. <laughs> there's not a lot of, like, there's not a lot of uh, Samus... Uh, real 63 out there um yet i i look surprisingly like it i think it's because i have the blonde hair and the blue eyes um so i guess people who don't even know <laughs> my character probably just see me and think oh that's that's just a it's just a samus gender swap but no it's it's still the same character um he's just in takao's play now but uh, i I've, i kind of fell in love with it when i saw it for some obvious reasons but uh i like it I like the colors um it's uh i can do a zoom out it's it's pretty like it's pretty simple honestly which is kind of what i like about it and i kind of i kind of like it i'm already working on a few tiktoks for it but uh yeah this is this is it <laughs> basic basically i was waiting to do my metroid streams just for uh um this outfit, which is why I was kind of waiting on it for a while. But, uh, yeah, that, that's pretty much it. That's the reveal. Oh, another thing I forgot to show off. Another little detail. Look at that. Little purple back pattern. I don't quite know what that's for. I don't know what the, what the purpose of that is, but it looks cool. And I do have... Uh, so, so this one... Um... Looks like the uh, the chick from Evangelion. I don't watch Evangelion. I think her name is Asuka, right? Asuka, however you, the fuck you say that. Um, so I kind of find it funny. Uh, just this fits my red color scheme. And then uh, I also have a black version, uh, which also has a red color scheme. So this one's kind of fits my more traditional color palette, just generic black leather um i look like sam fisher in this one that's what i find kind of like sam fisher from uh chaos theory that's that's what i look like um but uh that's kind of <laughs> that's kind of this outfit i might wear this at a little every every now and then um generic it's generic enough where it's not intentionally it's not specifically metroid Plus, I mean, it's a boy in a, you know, skin type suit. Of course, it's going to draw some audiences, some viewers. Um, but yeah, I'm having fun with it. I'm having fun with all these new outfits. But yeah, I'll, I'll stick with the classic, classic blue Samus. Um, I'm wondering how to crop it because I, I want I like showing off most of the body, but it's not going to be good for gameplay. So I think I'm going to just zoom in here, zoom in a little bit. You can you can show off the, the abs and the the booba. This is why I wanted to switch to 3D models in the first place because I can do this now. I can be a a smexy uh, a sar in a sci-fi suit. Although I don't think I'm gonna stick with 3D forever. I think I am gonna eventually hop back to 2D. Um, but I'm glad I went with this character because he is he he rocks the uh, <laughs> the zero suit. Um, Jesus, yeah, I don't know where to go. I think I just came from there. I was in here before. 
right? Man, I, I'm I, I'm trying to remember the controls too, because remember this is a uh, this is being emulated right now. Oh man, this is <laughs> this is so trippy. Um, this is why I should stop spending like months at a time not playing this game. Like I I think I need to start just straight up making Metroid a regular series so I can finally beat Prime 3. Uh, but hey, that means I won't be able to show off my uh, my uh, Zero Suit Andy cosplay. Okay, there's this area over here which I try to get to, but I can't. That's blocked off from my uh, side. Hey, Ghostita, welcome. Welcome, we're playing a little bit of uh, a little bit of Metroid. God, I, that's the one thing I, I'm so glad like we don't have to deal with in any Metroid games is like multiple dimensions. I love the details of your costume. Thank you. Um, I can kind of show it a little better. Uh, it's my model artist. She made it for me at my request. Um, it's a full, it's a full blown uh, like Samus suit, Zero Suit Samus. Uh, technically Zero Suit Andy. I was having fun with it, showing it off on Twitter. Um, it is good, isn't it? I like it. I love it. There we go. A light suit. Man, I've been rolling with that dark suit for a long time. It feels weird to finally get a new suit. I think it's going to be my favorite suit in the game. Just because I know. I know what it looks like. It looks rad. I love the dark. I love the way the dark suit looks. Just because it's, it's super, like, steampunky. But this looks cool. It's like kind of organic almost like it, it looks unique man I've said it before but Samus is 100% my waifu <laughs> what's sad is I think I think she's I think I like her more when she's in the suit <laughs> I see that suit I'm like yeah it's awesome that's sexy ironically enough not not just the zero suit it tells you what kind of nerd I am. I'm the kind of nerd who sees who sees like like a Metroid power suit, and I'm like, "Yeah, you go, girl." Uh, character package unlocked for purchase. Ooh, <laughs> what does that even mean? Has anyone done a cosplay of these suits? Surely someone has at some point. I just sneeze there. Oh, that's so cool. If you can tell, silver is my favorite color. If you couldn't tell by like my wallpaper on Twitch and my uh, my armor, my costume design. Oh, it's that's all. Oh, look at that. Oh, that's so cool. Oh, I don't know how you could. Prime, the Prime games are so charming. Like I don't know how you can genuinely look at this and be like, eh, it's not it's not good. They're they're awesome games. I've had a lot of fun with them. I'm actually gonna be really sad. Once I get to, because once I get to Prime Three, it's gonna be it. There's no, uh, no more Prime. Let's plays. I might, I might revisit Metroid at some Metroid Prime, Metroid Prime One at the very least. I'll probably revisit. Um, played Prime One and Two, not Three. Okay. I was gonna ask. Sounds like you must have been a uh, a GameCube owner. Because current, the this is technically the the Wii version. Or, or other M. <laughs> uh, no one's played other M. That's the only. Whenever I go to a retro store, that's the only game that I can find still on the shelves is other M. It's never Prime One or Two. I'll, I'll occasionally see Prime Three, but like it's still not common. But I always, I always see other M sitting there. With that game, Nintendo were really trying to not accept defeat because they they promised their investors that it would sell at least a million copies which is weird i don't know why i don't know why they'd say that but they did they told their investors like this is gonna be a million dollar it's gonna be a million sale game and it obviously wasn't other m went on clearance right away like right when it came out it was immediately put in the clearance bin just to try and get it to a million <laughs> just because the number would look better it would look pathetic if it didn't if it didn't hit that number the amount of resources Nintendo put on it. And it basically like killed <laughs> it killed Metroid for like a good decade. Like it took it took until Dread for Nintendo to be confident about the game. Of course they promised they would do Prime 4. I still think that's yet to be determined. That is a cool looking suit. 
Unironically, I would fall in love with a girl uh, if she wore not a Zero Suit Samus cosplay, but a, just an actual Metroid cosplay. I think I'll keep going just to find these keys, these damned keys. Um, oh, look at that. Look at that metal butt. Man, if a, if a girl wore the Samus armor, I would fall in love. I would head over heels in love with any girl who would wear the full Metroid armor. Not a Zero Suit Samus cosplay, a full Metroid cosplay. Metroid suit, a power suit cosplay. I'm serious. There we go. Fucking finally. That suit is cool, though. I keep saying that whenever I see Samus in a cutscene. So it's a Metroid that's infused with... I don't know if it's explicitly infused with Samus's DNA or if it's just the suit. So maybe it implies that the suit has probably Samus DNA in it, containing it. So it's like a Metroid that's kind of fused with a dark suit, with a Phazon suit. The Prime series just turned into like, it became Phazon. Like that's what every plot revolved around. Oh, that was, that's rad. With those portals, you have to scan them to open them. And so that's what Samus was doing as she was running. That's awesome. Nice. Oh, Samus is so cool. So have we just destroyed an entire dark dimension? Is that what we just did? Yep, there it goes. Nice. We helped the moth people. <laughs> I do find it funny how like the Prime games were mostly like revolved around kind of the same plot, except for Prime 2, which iron even though it introduced Dark Samus, it just has its own plot of like moth people and light and dark. Like, something about it, it's so quaint. It doesn't tie into the main series at all. Oh, Samus looks so cool. Very armor. Oh, she doesn't even... <laughs> just waves goodbye, like, doesn't even look back. Off for more adventures. She's gonna get her suit swapped, I think. Or no, her ship. She, get, she gets a ship upgrade for Prime 3. Well, we did it. We did it, gamers. We beat Metroid Prime. Metroid Prime 2. One of uh, two of three Prime games. Actually, no, three of four, because we also beat Prime Hunters. Um, But yeah, that was fun. But after this, I'm definitely going to do Prime 3, so we can finally conclude the whole Prime trilogy. This has been a lot of fun. I find it interesting how these, like, this series has stretched back to when I started streaming. Like, this is one of the first games I streamed. Metroid Prime 1. And it's lasted long enough, like, into my 3D model. Like, now I'm doing new stuff, but I'm still playing Metroid Prime 2. Like, I played this game long enough where my early streams of it were with my 2D model. Yeah, once I'm done with Prime 3, I'm gonna have to find some new Metroid games to play. I think, if I'm feeling bold, I might try to try to attempt Super Metroid, because I've never beaten it. I've always started it, and I've never gone all the way through it. So one of these days, I'm going to have to do it on stream. I do have a Zero Suit cosplay for a reason. It's kind of sad, honestly. It's melancholy to finally, like, beat a lot of these games. Like, I've, I've, I'm now officially, like, over the halfway point, and now I have to play the last game of the trilogy. I don't know when Prime 4 is going to release. It's probably going to take years, many... It's probably going to take many, many years. But once it releases, I'm definitely going to have to uh, stream it. I've cemented myself as a uh, Metroid Prime gamer. Yeah, thanks for stopping by, everybody. Uh, and then we got to get... We got to get into Prime 3. We got to go through that game. And once we're done with that, we'll have beaten all the Prime games on stream. So... Which is kind of sad, because I feel like it's been a tradition <laughs> to play Metroid Prime. But yeah, good night, everybody. I will see you next time. Hope you have a wonderful Friday. Everyone have a good one.